What up, everybody? It's your boy, Josh Horror Reviews Incorporated, or Senpai JD, whatever you want to call me. Um, here to bring you a very interesting video I have for you today. So today's video um, is called, well, we're just gonna call it a uh, Lost Media Saki Tanobashi, aka Go for a Punch. And is it real? So for this thing, I have to come up with a story. So in February in 2015, on 4chan, the Paranormal Forum, someone posted, "Give me your most scariest things you found on the deep web." Which, if you don't know what the deep web is, where have you been? It's basically the part of the web that you can't access browser bypassers and stuff like that like tour go into the deep versions of the internet where a lot of fucked up sites are found such as you know smut sites or hiring assassin sites it, it's a bunch of fucked up shit but anyways a few people were you know mocking the person who posted this question one person a few of them said you know the torture sites and all that and then one person said well there's this one anime where i found it called go for a punch or something like that where it was a bunch of naked girls um trapped inside a bathroom they're almost in their high school probably high school age and they're all talking about them getting they're getting out of the bathroom to the point where at one point this is an episode of the ova like 30 minutes so to one point where they end up just all of them start going hysterical and commit suicide i would say there's nine they said nine girls in total start bashing their heads against the ground or running or hitting the stall bathroom doors you know bashing their heads against them a few are clawing their throats out with their their fingers which somehow i don't i'm not sure if that's even possible in real life but you know it'd be who knows if you sharpen your, your nails enough oh yeah and then there's two pair of girls who are um, holding each other and one try says could you hold my head under water and drown me in the sink because she couldn't do it herself she was too scared that one does it and then i think she kills herself too okay Anyways, he said that the guy who posted this says that it scarred him. He went, he cried himself to sleep that night or after after he watched it. The screams of the girls were very jarring. They were scratching out their throats. All embodied lost hope. Like there was no hope left. And people just started coming to think, like asking more questions. He did his best to answer them. And then it evolved from more people saying, oh yeah, I've seen this or something. I, some, I heard about something like this. Or they all started trying to search for this one anime. And... It developed into subreddits for the sole purpose of searching and collecting information on this so-called show. It led to one person saying that he remembers something kind of similar to it called Saki Sanobashi. Where it's literally the same thing, just instead of the nine girls, there's three. They weren't naked. They were wearing like a cream, brown sailor uniforms. And then there's more people coming back with different things like, yo, I saw this show with some friends in college. They gave it more plot details, like one of them was kidnapped by like, the Yakuza and all that. And then I'm standing here and I remember, like, I haven't been, and there's also discords and all that. Well, it turns out that a couple years later, like in 2018, 2019, the person who uh, posted that statement came out in the same statement later, years later, and said, Listen, I was actually pranking the guy who created it, I was fucking with y'all. It's not true. None of it was true. And no one believed him. Like, he said, like, yeah, literally, the only reason why I stopped doing the prank was because because my favorite YouTuber, a guy named Wang, you know, did a video on Saki Sanobashi, he said to go for a punch. And I think this prank slash joke went on too far. We all know about pranks and jokes that won't go on too far, buddy, don't we? So, well, when I remember reading the thing in this, I'm like, okay, you know what? This pos this cannot possibly be a thing. Because Japan has, they, they make a lot of fucked up shit. I mean, the manga and anime is over-sexualized, which I'll, I'll give you that. Yeah, I, I read and watch it. Just look at the shelf. I mean, come on. There's a lot of violence, stuff you don't usually see. You no, know, it's because it's taboo and it's forbidden. And, and you know what? Whether you like it or not, that's exciting. That's why people are drawn to them. For example, I still want a manga or an anime where a demon and a priest, or like a priest, fall in love. If you can do that... Like, that's, a, that's an immediate taboo. 
I mean, then I realized, you know, that possibility could happen because, you know, they always make these fucked up shit. But with this anime, they said the guy who claims it was from, like, the 80s, which, you know, I'm not even gonna lie, I'm not very well versed on 80s anime. I mean, the closest thing I got to an 80s anime has been Zerk. And then I keep going thinking and thinking, you know, this is, how, like, is this thing real? Like, and then again, this guy said he was, like, crying to see this thing dramatized. I'm like, dude, for an OVA for 30 seconds and you, there's a lot of character development and you feel bad for these characters? Fuck that. I mean, for God's sakes. Me watching horror movies today, I started believing that, you know what, yeah, these people deserve to die. Just kill them. Because they're fucking idiots. I mean, come on. Anyways. That's what I like, believe about this like thing. Like, there is no way you would have that much a emotional response to a character you just met. Like, granted, you might feel like, oh, that's sad, that's fucked up, but you won't be like, cry yourself to sleep. Again, Japan is known to create fucked up stuff. I mean, their ghost stories fuck are terrifying. Their manga and anime are fucking terrifying. I mean, hell, Jinju Ito here. <laughs> I've never had true terror from a book until I read Jinju Ito. I mean, Jinju Ito's books have made me afraid to go to sleep at night. That's how, that's what true horror is. And you know, the fact of the matter is, if all these shows like Elf and Lead, which is really fucked up, and Berserk, is, which is really fucked up, and all these shows that have dark subject matter, sometimes even feature suicide and stuff like that, and being heads being ripped off, and people dying and killing, are on regular internet, like you can actually watch them, then why is this one OVA not there? Simple as that. Why is it not there? I can tell you why it's not there. Because it's not real. I don't know, man. This is like you're fucking grasping at straws, bro. I mean, come on. Who do you think you are? Fucking great expert, bitch. I don't know. You tell me you're fucking me. And here's the reason why. If all the other shows, like Berserk, um, Elfin Lee, which, uh, Roy fucked up. Attack and Titan, which I would even say is fucked up. Um, hmm, Parasite, Roy fucked up. Jinjo Ito, maybe even the Jinjo Ito collection, I would say, but I, I wouldn't go as that far. Um, hmm. Pumpkin Knight, which is kind of fucked up. Even though it's expected to be, it's a horror manga, so. Hmm, 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 hmm. Other shows that deal with, oh yeah, um, Arrow Manga Sensei, My Sister, My Writer, which I've done reviews of My Sister, My Writer, Oraimo, which Loki is, I think, the worst series I've ever, I've never watched because I'm never going to watch it. Speaking in general, I just don't see this as, as a possibility to be real for a lot of reasons. If it was real, it would be found on the internet. It's plain and simple. Like, the internet, even in itself, is a fucked up place. Like, the deep web is, like, probably even more fucked up, but internet itself is a fucked up place. Like, for example, like, people in these days can sometimes get all butthurt about, like, you know, rape jokes and all this type of stuff and all I mean, Granted, the act itself is horrible. The joke is not supposed to be making the persons who've actually been raped to feel bad, okay? They're supposed to be a make light of a very dark subject matter to bring it to be all comedy comes from a really dark place. It's been proven, okay? Um, scholars have proven that that's the truth. Um, <clears throat> but the fact is, like, people get overly hurt about almost anything, okay? You, you make one, I guess you could say you can make one off-colored comment or um, one statement about, I don't know, uh, so if it's, it's like a Jew, since I'm a Jew, a Jew, and immediately you're, you're getting called for canceled. Um, not by Jews, mind you, maybe a few, but by half the people, uh, which I do not like that. The fact of the matter is that you're taking offense for other people is insulting as enough as it is racist itself. It's saying you don't, you don't, you don't know that you've been being made fun of, and you don't have the right. To, you don't, you don't know you're being made fun of. You're being prejudiced against and all this, so we're gonna get mad on your behalf. I'm like, look, when even like, for example, I'll give you a great example. When in I saw an anime where a person got like made off color comments or like insulting comments to another person, and the one person's like pulling out a sword about to kill this person, and every single time he's like, it's okay, I'm not offended. 
And she keeps saying, no, he must die. And I'm like, but she just said he, she's not offended. So why must you try to attack him? Like, yo, she's your boss. Listen to him. She said, stop, you stop. But no, she's like, you must die. And it turns into a whole um thing where the boss bitch slaps her, which was pretty funny in itself. I even forgot the anime that happened in, but it was really funny. Again, the internet itself is a fucked up place. The fact of the matter this is, is not the internet itself. People came out with other like convicting stories. Like, and I'm like, at this point, I'm like, if you can't get a set story straight, it's not real. I mean, granted, you're all coming back with other ideas, right? And similar to the storyline itself. But you have not produced a single shred of viable proof that this series ever existed. And the and again, like I said, if this series ever existed, it wouldn't be on the deep web. It just wouldn't. It would be on the regular internet that you could actually watch. Go Go Anime. Uh, Crunchyroll even has some dark shit. Funimation has some probably dark shit. You could watch dark shit on the internet. It's not that hard. This was so bad that I had to go on the, the deep web to watch. When, when, when you can literally watch if they can have, you know, cut off someone's head and actually show the head fly to the ground and see the head, right? There's blood and everything, guts everywhere. If they can show you that, then I don't see how in the hell it's not on the internet. And that's why I be, I've led to believe that Saki Sonobashi or AKA Go For A Punch, which I'm gonna go for Go For A Punch, is not real. Because if it's not on it, or all these other shows that are really fucked up are, like Berserk, Elf and Lead, Yosuke no Sora, Mirai Nikki, or The Future Diary, if they're all, all these shows are on the internet, why the fuck are go for a punch on the internet that these are shows that are allowed to be watched on? That's about it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. I guess this doesn't sound like a rant. I hope it's I'm not trying to rant to you. I'm just saying it was my, my stance on it. If you don't want, if you want to know more, just go on and look up on 4chan. I'm, I'm trying to find the link for it. Uh, help you, all you, I hope you all you guys have a great day. Please subscribe to my channel. It really helps help me out. If we can get to 10 subs, like 210 subs, I'll be so happy. Thank you all for watching and having a great day. I don't know, you tell me you're fucking me. Yeah, I'm saying that. The fact of the matter is that if it's, um, that if it's not there, I mean, dude, like really, like if those, all those enemies are there, but that, but that, because they're all, but they're all fucked up and that one's just as pretty much fucked up, but it's not on the regular internet, but it has to be, but it was only found on the deep web. How the hell is it not, how is it, how is it real then? If enemies like those are really fucked up, well, they literally show, they don't show it, but they, there's implying that our brother and sister fuck each other. Twin brother and sister, by the way, they're twins, okay? And, or where someone's head gets cut off and they show the head. Or when a person's wife gets fucked right in front of them by their best friend and he impregnates her with a demonic something, whatever it is, and you and they show that, okay? How can you say that 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 that's that that stuff fucked up, but that's that that show is really even more fucked up? How do you tell me that, okay? ほう、向かってくるのか。逃げずにこの帝王に近づいてくるのか。近づかなきゃ、てめえをぶちのめせないんだな。ほうほう。では十分近づくがよい。